Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah salatu wassalam ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain amma ba'd. Grade 11 uh, students. In this video we are going to discuss uh, the last session. We are going to recall the uh, some of the main part of the last session. In the last session we studied about uh, how to calculate interest on reducing loan balance and uh, how to find the monthly installment. For this question, uh, in your exams, most probably uh, uh, the question will be to find the interest rate under the reducing loan balance. We are studying how to calculate uh, if the interest percentage is given, annual interest rate is given, how to calculate the monthly installment? In uh, exam questions, most probably you'll have questions. They gave the monthly installment and they gave the initial amount and they gave the entire uh, the value of the amount or the loan. Uh, you need to calculate what is the interest percentage. For that, we are, uh, for, for that purpose only, we, uh, we practice more question uh, to calculate monthly installment. Uh, the main reason practicing more questions, we need to know what are the things, what are the main things we need to calculate to find a monthly installment. In reverse, then we can calculate the interest percentage. For that purpose, uh, in this video, in the first session, we are going to discuss uh, two questions. What we uh, done earlier, uh, you have the answers also. So we are going to uh, discuss some of the uh, questions for what are the basic things we need to find? What is the interconnection of them? Okay. So first of all, uh, if you want to buy, uh, buy a product, buy an item like washing machine, TV, uh, refrigerator, phone, something else, any other equipments, you need to pay an initial amount. You need to pay an initial amount. Or otherwise we can call uh, the, uh, the amount we initially paid as down payment. So, on the installment basis, or item on the item on the product to Korea amount and no, Engel Kitta initial a paper Nelman or amount on the Anu paper. Illandesona, seller products a given the down payment, evil on a sole, on fixed paniriban and the payment on a paper. Okay. So, after the initial payment, after the down payment, so we have remaining amount, balance amount. So that's the first point we are going to find. What is the due amount? So the first point for each and every question, due amount. What is the remaining amount to be paid? Or we can say balance, balance amount to be paid. So that is the first thing. Usually, in the reducing loan balance, we need to find basic thing. Okay. Then next, then next, what is the amount for a month? Let me say, uh, we are going to buy 60,000 rupees TV. The value of this TV is 60,000. So, we pay a down payment, a down payment, 10,000 rupees. So the remaining amount is 50,000 rupees. So that is the first part. Remaining amount is 50,000 rupees. That is the first part. So this 50,000 we are going to pay in 10 monthly installments. In 10 monthly installments. So what is the amount for a month? Monthly installment. What is the what is the uh, principal amount. Like, Nanga Ketavendi amount on the Riki fifty thousand. 
இந்த ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் நாங்க டென் ஸ்லாட்ஸ் ஆக டிவைட் பண்றோம் தட் இஸ் தி அதர் மீனிங் ஆஃப் मंथலி இன்ஸ்டால்மென்ட் பத்து ஸ்லாட்டா நாங்க அத ஈவனா டிவைட் பண்றோம் பத்து ஸ்லாட்ஸ் ஆ ஈவனா டிவைட் பண்ணினோம்னா ஒரு ஸ்லாட் நாங்க என்ன அமௌண்ட் போய்ட்டு கேட்டோம் ஓகே இதுக்கு தான் நாங்க இத தான் நாங்க இரண்டாவது முக்கியமா கண்டுபிடிக்கிறோம் அமௌண்ட் டு பி பேட் amount to be paid monthly amount to be paid monthly over a monthly installment ge the mother and the amount differentiate how the divide panni nanga edu so 50000 divided by 10 it's 5000 so 5000 is the amount we are going to pay each and every month in other word this 5000 is the reducing amount so we need to we need to pay 50000 so in the first month we are going to paying 5000 so our due amount will reduce 45000 okay then the second month we are going to pay another 5000 so our due amount going to be reduced into 40000 likewise each and every month we pay the amount of 5000 a constant amount which will reduce so the amount to be paid monthly is a very important part very important uh, section uh, th this amount is the reducing uh, amount so using this amount uh, we are going to calculate the interest so what is the main purpose of this amount to be paid monthly using this amount only we are going to pay interest okay so uh, in some of the question i i write the sentence like this some of the question i wrote amount to be paid monthly some of the question i wrote it like this amount to be paid, amount to be paid monthly without interest without interest i include this word uh, in some of the question because uh, then only we can easily identify this amount will be the reducing amount so that amount should be the uh, amount calculating interest okay with the initial uh, the first video if you want to refer the first video go and refer the first video what is studied about reducing loan balance the system of reducing loan balance so uh, i think you have the knowledge and i i, I will uh, that's why i will continue this se section i don't want to repeat it okay so remember that the amount to be paid monthly is a crucial important thing so this one is why this one is important because this amount is used to calculate the interest only this amount okay so thirdly we are going to find using this amount interest interest for a month unit interest for a month unit so some of the students in their answers they didn't write uh, 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 perfect sentences they are just writing total interest amount to be paid amount to be paid monthly uh, interest just like that don't write that write like that because uh, if you write a meaningful sentence then only you can gain the idea what is this so if you want to do in reverse so then using that sentences meaningful sentences only you can identify it seri naanga sila students irukranga avanga vande chumma eludikranga monthly interest evlo monthly interest avladha eludikra adu monthly interest idu ennathu calculate pannuvaanga idu ennathukku use aagum idu eppadiyana or item adha ondum yosikama avanga eludikka ana na end answer la neenga paakala na ella sentence e vande olunga eludirikira enna nu ketta vande inga andha vishayam mukkiyam ena andha andha vishayatha neenga andha question naanga practice pandra nera indha இந்த சென்டென்ஸ் நீங்க திருப்பி 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 ஒழுங்கு எழுதியிருந்தா தான் நான் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ற நேரம் உங்களுக்கு அந்த விஷயம் விளங்குவோம் இது இதோட கனெக்ஷனான ஒரு விஷயம் 
நாங்க அடுத்த இடத்த பாக்குற நேரம் உங்களுக்கு அந்த கனெக்ஷனை புடிச்சு கொள்றதுக்கு இந்த சென்டென்ஸ் ஆக முக்கியமா இருக்கு ஏன் நாங்க இதை போட்டுக்கிறோம் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் ஃபார் அ மந்த்னு போடாம இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் ஃபார் அ மந்த் யூனிட்னு போட்டுக்கிறோம் சோ யூ நோ வாட் இஸ் மந்த் யூனிட்ஸ் ரெடியூசிங் பேலன்ஸுக்கு நாங்க இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் கல்குலேட் பண்ணுவோம் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் கல்குலேட் பண்ணினேன்னு சொன்னா இந்த டென் மந்த் யூனிட்ஸுக்கும் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் கல்குலேட் பண்ணினேன் சொன்னா ஒரு 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 அமௌண்ட் வரப்போகுது இப்படி பத்து அமௌண்ட் வரப்போகுது ஓகே இந்த பத்து அமௌண்ட்ல இருந்தும் கொமனான ஒரு ஒரு வேல்யூவை நாங்க எடுத்தோம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டன் நீங்க வந்து கொஞ்சம் ரீகால் பண்ணுங்க ரெடியூசிங் லோன் பேலன்ஸ்ல நாங்க ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் எப்படி பார்த்தோம் சிக்ஸ் மந்த்லி இன்ஸ்டால்மெண்ட்னு சொல்லி ஒரு விஷயம் பார்த்தோம் அதுல ஒவ்வொரு இன்ட்ரெஸ்டே நாங்க தனியா கண்டுபிடிச்சி ஃபைனலா அதை அட் பண்ண வார நேரம் அந்த ஒவ்வொரு இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட்ல இருந்தோம் அந்த அமௌண்ட்ல இருந்து கொமனான ஒரு வேல்யூவை நாங்க வெளியே கொண்டு வந்தோம் கொமனான ஒரு வேல்யூவை நாங்க வெளியே கொண்டு வந்தோம் ஓகே அந்த கொமனான வேல்யூ என்ன அப்படின்னு கேட்டா அதுதான் இந்த இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் போற மந்த் யூனிட் திருப்பி ஒரு தடவை அந்த வீடியோ திருப்பி ஒரு தடவை பாருங்க இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் போற மந்த் யூனிட் ரைட் ஏன் மந்த் யூனிட் அப்படின்னு கேட்டா அதான் நாங்க எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ணினோம் சிஸ்டம் சொல்றது இப்படிதான் இருக்கு ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் கெட்டுறோம் ஸோ பிப்டி தௌசண்ட்ல ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் பே பண்றோம் ஃபோர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் பேலன்ஸ் இருக்கு அப்ப யாருக்கு இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் கல்குலேட் பண்ணுவாங்க பேலன்ஸ் இருக்கிற அந்த அமௌண்ட்டுக்கு தான் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் கல்குலேட் பண்ணுவாங்க ஃபர்ஸ்ட் மந்த் வாரிங்க சிக்ஸ்டி தௌசண்ட் பே பண்ணணும் டென் தௌசண்ட் பே பண்ணிட்டீங்க ஓகே டென் தௌசண்ட் பே பண்ணிட்டீங்க பிப்டி தௌசண்ட் பே பண்ண இருக்கு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் மந்த் நீங்க வாரிங்க ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் எடுத்துக்கொண்டு வாரிங்க ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் எடுத்துக்கொண்டு வந்து நீங்க உங்களோட இன்ஸ்டால்மெண்ட்டை பே பண்றீங்க ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் பே பண்ணினா அந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் நீங்க பே பண்ண வார நேரம் உங்களோட டியூ அமௌண்ட் என்ன வாட் இஸ் த டியூ அமௌண்ட் வென் யூ கேம் டு பே த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இன்ஸ்டால்மெண்ட் தட் இஸ் பிப்டி தௌசண்ட் ஸோ அந்த பிப்டி தௌசண்ட் அந்த பேலன்ஸ் இருக்கிற பிப்டி தௌசண்ட்க்கு இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் கல்குலேட் பண்ணுவாங்க ஃபர்ஸ்ட் மந்த் டே இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் வரும் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இன்ஸ்டால்மெண்ட் டே இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் வரும் then we have 5000 pay paniyaacha interest oda pay pannuvi right 5000 pay paniyaachi inda ipa due amount evlo va reduce aavo 45000 a reduce aavo ipa second month ninga 5000 va kondu varinga inda second month kuri installment apdi ninga pay panna poringa appa inda second month kuri interest calculate pandra amount enna 50000 da first 5000 cal kudutaacha appa adha subtract pannina 45000 ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட்க்கு தான் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் கல்குலேட் பண்ணுவான் ஓகே இது இப்படி தான் நடக்கும் ஓகே சிக்ஸ் மந்த்னு சொல்ற நேரம் ஓகே ரைட் சிக்ஸ் மந்த்னு எங்களுக்கு கல்குலேட் பண்ணிடலுமே நீங்க நிறைய கணக்கு செஞ்சீங்க லோன் லோன் எடுத்திருந்தாங்க சிக்ஸ்டி மந்த் இன்ஸ்டால்மெண்ட் எத்தனை இன்ஸ்டால்மெண்ட்ல இப்போ அவங்க பே பண்ணுவாங்க சிக்ஸ்டி மந்த்லி இன்ஸ்டால்மெண்ட்ஸ் பே பண்ண போறாங்க அவங்க ஒரு லோன் எடுத்திருந்தாங்க அப்படி நீங்க ஒரு மூணு கேள்விமே நீங்க செஞ்சிருக்கீங்க ஸோ can we calculate 60 monthly installments well, sorry interest for 60 can so that purpose we are going to use another method for that method we need two things what are the two two things initially we need month uh, interest for a month unit okay the first part we need for that interest for a month unit so interest for a month unit yaar ku calculate pannuvaanga in for which amount we are going to calculate interest that is the monthly uh, value the amount for a month so the connection between interest and the uh, amount for a month is Uh, th- th- there is a connection between these two so remember this connection with this amount we can calculate interest if we have the interest if we have the interest and the amount for a month interest and the amount for a month uh, imagine like this uh, cost cost of a product and the profit profit from the product cost and the profit using the cost and profit what can you say what can you find we can easily find profit percentage so remember this one uh, after that we are going to discuss some questions remember this point 
if we have cost and the profit we can easily find the profit percentage so in reverse if you have the interest for a month and the uh, the amount which is uh, calculated interest in the interest in the amount to calculate panina and the amount engalukku theriyunda like cost and the profit cost and the interest we can calculate interest percentage remember this point okay fourthly we need to calculate number of number of month uh, number of month units number of month units okay the fourth part we can find number of month units using the installment we have an equation n into n plus 1 over 2 n the n representing number of month units okay 3 and 4 what is the connection between 3 and 4 using the interest for a month unit and the number of month units what can we calculate we can calculate we can calculate total interest we can calculate total interest so you need to remember the connection between amount for a month amount to be paid for a month and the interest for a month unit there is a there is a connection connection between these two and the other connection interest for a month unit and the number of month unit using this uh, the product of this third and fourth points we can calculate total interest okay remember this connection okay the sixth point using the total interest using the total interest and the amount to be paid due amount due amount uh, total interest and the due amount we should add so using the total interest and the due amount we can calculate total amount to be paid total amount to be paid finally using the total amount to be paid using the total amount to be paid we can calculate the monthly installment so we have seven portions we have these seven portions so uh, these seven portions it's uh, step by step so you can calculate whatever it is on the first but uh, you can't calculate the total interest without uh, month units you can't calculate total interest without interest for a month unit you can't calculate total interest without amount for a month amount to be paid for a month so 567 you can't calculate initially so the initials are due amount amount to be paid balance the total amount to be paid balance then the second amount for an installment monthly installment what is what is the amount to be amount going to be reducing so without interest what amount we are going to pay second and thirdly uh, interest for that amount that is interest for month unit then the number of month unit these are step by step you need to cal calculate first second third fourth so you need to remember this four after this four you can calculate this 5 6 okay there is a interconnection between all these seven so we can calculate uh, without one we, we can calculate the sixth part with the uh, without the second part we can we can calculate the fifth part without the fourth part so there is a in between connection with these seven so that's why we practice more question to uh, remember identify these seven portions because most of the question will be in reverse so we are going to we are going to do within the reverse okay so we will we'll discuss one of the question 
already we got the answers. Uh, so I send the question after you finish the exercise uh, on your textbook. I send uh, four questions. I send four questions, then I send five questions. The first part uh, is I send four questions. On that four questions, we are going to discuss the second question of that. Okay, so uh, take the second question, uh, read the question. A computer is priced 59,000. A computer is priced 59,000. To buy this uh, under higher purchase, you know that higher purchase, uh, installment basis payment, and reducing loan balance, all are similar words. Higher purchase is the word uh, what we are using on the uh, uh, the previous syllabus. Okay, the under higher purchase, five thousand rupees should be paid as a down payment, and the rest in equal eighteen monthly installment. So you got the question. The rate interest per annum is fifteen percentage. The first part of the question they ask find the number of month units for which interest should be calculated. So directly. They are asking the fourth part. Directly, they are asking the fourth part. So, directly, they are asking the fourth part, number of month units. So, the first part, directly, we can use the equation n into n plus 1 over 2. So the number of installments they are going to pay is 18. So 18, 18 plus 1, it's 19 over 2. 18, 18 plus 1, 19 over 2. So 2 in 2 and 18, we can divide it. Uh, 19 into 9. So it is 171. So that is the number of month units we are going to pay. Okay. So order of an in the number of month units in Sunna in Abdinda initial anangapato on the six month the interest calculated panna. First video on Angapato. And the interest to lay in the common on or value on the Nanga value editor. I think it's 40. Okay, common on our value on the number value editor, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in this only numbers on this. The numbers are like they add one in a angle core value on this. Aditha in the number of month units. Nanga apri calculate panama or equation mulama calculate panda. The salakal the salasurans are the colopum. Adi in a abdiriki then a bidiriki. Then render nanga valagabadi. Right? For, for your just for a reminder. So number of month units. Okay, what is the second question they ask? What is the total to be paid interest? What is the total to be paid interest? So what they are asking, what is the total interest? So total interest calculate pananunda, total interest is the fifth part. So you need to calculate all the first five things, all the first four things. All the first four, you need to calculate. Then only using these four, the initial four, you can calculate the fifth total interest. So one of the one of the four is the first part, number of month units. You already calculated it. So what are the things remaining? So we need to know what are the things we are going to calculate. What is the inter relationship to the total interest so tell me if you want if you want to calculate total interest you have the number of monthly installment Num sorry you, you have the number of month units so which are connected with total interest you need to multiply this number of month units by interest for a month unit so that is the third part if you need to calculate interest for a month unit, you need to find the amount without interest for a month. You, you have the connection. 
now you can understand the connection so if you need monthly installment you need to calculate what is the due amount so in reverse that is the connection so first we need to calculate due amount you have the you have the sentences i just uh, write in a short form you have the answers also you have the uh, 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 particular sentences with you so check uh, those sentences that i sent uh, on the answers so due amount so the amount for this computer is 59000 the initial payment is 5000 so 54000 they are, they need to pay and second you need to find what is the month amount to be paid for a month so amount to be paid for a month secondly so 54000 is divided by those monthly installment how many monthly installments 18 so divided by 8 so it is three times 18 one and three times so 3000 rupees okay 3000 rupees we have the amount which is used to calculate the interest 3000 so we can calculate the interest for a month unit third one so 3000 into uh, the interest rate is 15 over 100 the interest rate given for uh, annual rate so we are calculating for a month so annual Month change under every grade 10 letter on a particular annual month change panda. We should divide the rate. So multiply by 1 over 12. So divide by 12. Okay. Uh, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, and 15, 15 into uh sorry. 3 times uh, 4. It's three times five. Uh, otherwise, we can calculate like this. Three thousand fifteen over hundred into one over twelve. Six times two, six times five. Right. Uh, So 15 into 5, 75 over 2, it's 37.5. So 37 rupees 50 cents is the interest for a uh, uh, month unit. Then we have the number of month units. If you multiply by 171 and uh, 37.50, so it gives the total interest so you have the answer so uh, in reverse remember this point in reverse because we are going to study the reverse part in reverse the interest uh, interest for a month unit it's 3750 is given if we think the interest for a month unit is given, okay, uh, the amount for a month is also given. The rate is not given. The rate is not given. So can you find the rate? If you have the interest for a month unit, if you have the amount, due amount monthly, you can calculate the interest rate. So remember this point, because we are going to use, uh, we are going to uh, face some of the question like this. Okay, so these are the seven uh, main portions. The, you need to remember the connection with whom we can find the other part. With the due amount, we can find the monthly amount. With the monthly amount, we can find the uh, interest for a month. Then number of month units using this total interest. 
then total amount to be paid then monthly installment so you should you should uh, know the flow and you should know the connection between them that's why uh, we discuss the second question i think you have got the idea now we are going to study the reverse so the reverse question is we have given the uh, installments monthly installment we have given the uh, price of the value and the down payment we need to find the rate so that is the second part of the reducing loan balance we'll discuss uh, some of the example questions uh, how do we calculate the interest rate